Hi everyone, happy Sabbath. My name's Stephanie and today we're going to learn about a story from the Bible. And if you see behind me, there's a baby in a basket. But we'll talk about the baby a little bit later. What's your name? Can you tell me what your name is? And do you remember what my name is? Stephanie, that's right. So this morning, we're going to sing our welcome song and I need you to shake your hands as we sing Ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Are you shaking your hands? Are you ready? Let's sing. Ring-a-ling-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ling. Are you shaking your hands? Let's keep going. Ring-a-ling-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ling, Sabbath bells are ringing. Ring-a-ling-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ling, children sweetly singing. Oh, did you have a good shake? That was great. When we come to Sabbath school, we learn about Jesus and there are lots of stories in a special book. Do you know what that book is called? Did you say the Bible? That's right. If you have a Bible, you can bring it out and I've got my Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, you can put your hands together like this as we sing our next song. Have you got your Bibles or your hands ready? Would you like to hold the Bible, the holy book God gave to us? Would you like to hold the Bible, God's precious holy book? Would you like to hold the Bible, the holy book God gave to us? Would you like to? made our world and he made everything for us. When someone does something nice for you, what do you do? We say thank you. And our next song has some actions that I want you to follow as we say thank you to Jesus for everything. for everything all I have to you I bring thank you Jesus is why I sing thank you Jesus for everything thank you Jesus for everything all I have to you I bring thank you Jesus is why I sing thank you Jesus for everything a lot of you have been spending some time at home this week with your mummies and your daddies and your brothers and your sisters and a few of the children in the College Church Beginners class have sent through some pictures of what they've been up to. So the first picture I have here is Tito and he has done some craft and look he has a dinosaur. The next picture is Abby, and Abby has been getting some fresh air in the garden, and I think she loves swinging on trees. Oh, wow! Isabel has sent through a picture of the different types of clouds. There are fluffy clouds, there are straight clouds, they're pretty clouds. Thank you, Isabel. Now, this one, we've got Jonas and Asher, and they've made some rainbow elephants 
using some milk bottles. That's so creative. Thank you. Wow. And look at this. Jacob and his mummy have put together a rainbow circle that they can hang on the wall. That is very colourful. Now we've got this drawing from Dominic and he has drawn a picture of Dominic, Daddy, his sister Hannah and Mummy. Thank you Dominic. And our last picture is from Hannah and she's done some grass, some pink flowers and the blue sky. Thank you so much, all the children from the beginners class, for sending through your pictures. If you want to send through some pictures, if you have a look at the screen, there should be a link for your mummy or your daddy to send a photo through. Now we're going to have a talk to God and we're going to thank him for everything that he's done for us and for keeping us safe. Let's sing our next song. Are you ready to pray with me? Let's get our hands ready and our knees ready to pray to God. I will bend my knees. I will fold my hands. I will bow my head. I will close my eyes. And very, very quietly at the prayer is said. Dear Jesus, thank you for a lovely week. Some of us have been at home, some of us have been at school, and thank you for keeping us safe. Please be with us and please help us to learn more about you. Amen. Hi everyone, I have a friend here and his name is Pastor Alex. Now have you played Simon Says before? Yeah? Well today we're going to play Alex Says. So are you ready Alex? Yes? Okay. Alex Says put your hands on your head. Alex Says Put your hands on your belly. Alex says, put your hands on your knees and run. Are you running? I didn't say Alex says. Let's try again. Good work for some of you who got it. All right, let's do it again. Alex says, jump up and down. Alex says, sway like a tree. Alex says, hands on your hips and blink. Oh, well done. All right, we might do one last one. Are you ready? Alex says, touch your ears. Alex says, hop on one leg. Can you hop on one leg? Alex says, Touch your nose and touch your chin. Oh, well done. That was good work, everyone. Thanks, Pastor Alex. We're going to learn about how God keeps us safe. But before we do, I've got Pastor Alex here again because he's going to be my helper. Now, there are some items that I have here that protect you. I wonder what they are. I've got this. I think it might be called a helmet. Do you want to pop that on your head? What does a helmet do? It protects your head when you're riding a bike. Now I've got something else that protects you from the rain. Do you know what this is? It's an umbrella. Pastor Alex is going to open the umbrella because it might rain and he can be protected from the rain. And our last one, which might be a bit tricky, but we'll give it a go. 
Do you know what these are? These are goggles. So when you go swimming or when you go to the beach, you can put your goggles on. And what do they do? They protect your eyes. So, have a go, Alex. Oh, doesn't Alex look so cool? He is very protected by all these things. So just remember that when we protect ourselves, God also protects us. We are going to learn about another story in the Bible where God kept a little baby safe. And I've got Pastor Mickey here who's going to help me. Now, we've got a few things here that you may or may not have. A washing basket, some paint brushes, a little tiara, a baby, a little handkerchief or a blanket. So if your mummies and daddies have time, they might be able to quickly get a few things for you. But if not, that's okay. We can just have fun together. So we're going to learn about the baby. And his name is Moses. Do you have a baby in your family? Some of us do, and babies are so precious. So we're going to sing our first song with Moses in the family, and I'll get you to clap your hands along with us. Are you ready to clap your hands? With Moses in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With Moses in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Keep clapping. With Moses in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With Moses in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Well done, everyone. Baby Moses' mummy was called Jochebed and she loved and cared for Moses. She would give her little baby a lovely bath. Do you have a little doll or a little toy that you can give a wash? Now, we're going to sing and wash our baby. Have you got your washes? All right, we're yeah, going to give baby Moses a wash. Jock a bed, wash baby Moses, baby Moses, baby Moses. Jock a bed, wash baby Moses, she washed him carefully. Are you washing your baby? Jock a bed, wash baby Moses, baby Moses. Baby Moses, jock a bed, wash baby Moses, she washed him carefully. Oh, baby Moses is nice and clean, and your toy is nice and clean too. Once baby Moses was all clean, jock a bed would dry him and get his clothes. So Pastor Mickey and I have baby Moses and we've got an outfit and we're going to quickly pop the clothes on our baby. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, it's been a while since I've put clothes on a doll. All right, clothes are on and we are going to wrap baby Moses in a blanket. Do you have a little blanket that you can wrap your little doll or your little toy in as we sing our next song. Our babies are clean. Let's wrap them snuggly and tight. Are you ready? Wrap baby Moses, baby Moses, baby Moses. Chock a bed wrapped baby Moses. She cause she loved him so. Oh, so warm. Oh, jock a bed wrapped baby Moses, baby Moses, baby Moses. 
chocolate rat baby Moses because she loved him so. Oh, so nice and cuddly. There was a bad king who wanted to hurt baby Moses and all of the other Israelite boys. Jochebed wanted to keep baby Moses safe. So she had to keep baby Moses very quiet. And if he cried, the soldiers may hear him. So Jochebed rocked baby Moses to stop him from crying. And if you have your blanket, make sure you wrap your blanket tight and we're going to rock baby Moses in our next song. Is your baby crying? Rock them gently to sleep now. Chock a bed rocked baby Moses, baby Moses, baby Moses. Chock a bed wrapped baby Moses, because she loved him so. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. Chock a bed rocked baby Moses, baby Moses. Baby Moses, chock a bed rat, baby Moses, because she loved him so. Oh, good rocking. I can't hear any crying, can you? No, I think baby Moses might be asleep. Let's see what happens next. As baby Moses grew bigger, it was harder for Jochebed to hide him. So his mother had to think of another plan. So she made a basket to put him in so he would be all nice and comfy. And I don't think anyone would hear him in a basket. So if you have a washing basket or another basket, and maybe a paintbrush or you can use your hands, we're going to paint our special basket and maybe it might be safe for baby Moses to go in while we sing our next song. Paintbrushes? Put All right. Just a bit made a boat for Moses, boat for Moses. Moses, Jock a bed made a boat for Moses because she loved him so. Your basket looking good? Yeah, let's keep painting. Made a boat for Moses, boat for Moses, boat for Moses. Jock a bed made a boat for Moses because she loved him so. I think our baskets might be ready to put baby Moses in. When the basket was finished, Moses' mother put baby Moses in the basket. Can you put your doll or your toy in the basket? Now, she took Moses and Moses' older sister, Miriam, to the river and she had a really special job for Miriam. Now she was going to put maybe Moses in the river and Miriam was going to watch her brother and made sure that she rocked baby Moses to sleep so he was nice and quiet so no one could find him. So, in our next song, we're going to rock our baskets in the river. Are you rocking? Rock, 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 rock. See the boat on the
He's asleep. Now God kept baby Moses safe. And you know what? I think he sent his angels to watch over baby Moses. Now, Pastor Mickey and I have a little angel, but if you wanted to put your hands together and be an angel to watch over baby Moses, we can sing our next song. When Moses was hid in his small basket boat, God sent his angels to watch over him. When Moses was hid in his small basket boat, God sent his angels to watch over him. Moses was sitting in his small basket boat. God sent his angels to watch over him. When Moses was in his small basket boat, God sent his angels to watch over him. Miriam heard someone coming. Oh, I wonder who it was. She was a little bit scared. But you know what? Moses was floating in the river near oh, the princess. Uh-oh. When the princess saw the basket, oh, she was surprised to see a baby. So if you have a little crown, or you can put your hands on your head. We're going to sing our next song. <laughs> look here comes the princess, princess, princess. Look who comes the princess, she sees the basket boat. Look who comes the princess, princess, princess. Look here comes the princess, she sees the basket boat. Baby Moses got a big surprise to see who? The princess. And he didn't know who she was. Oh, and the princess felt so sorry for baby Moses that she decided to pick him up and to give him a cuddle and keep him and make him a prince. Miriam ran and asked the princess whether she could find a nurse to look after baby Moses. The princess said yes. So Miriam got Jochebed. Do you remember Jochebed? That was Moses' mum. So Jochebed was going to come and look after baby Moses. But baby Moses was still a little bit scared of the princess. And oh no, baby Moses is crying. Do you have a little handkerchief or a tissue so we can wipe baby Moses' tears away in our next song? Oh, baby Moses is crying. It's okay. Don't cry, baby Moses. Don't cry. Moses stopped crying 
because he could go home to his mum, Jochebed, who was going to look after him. Now, Moses was able to live with his mum for a little bit of time. Now, do you think that he was happy or that he was sad? Let's have a look. Do you think Moses was sad that he had to go back home? Or do you think he was happy that he got to go back home with his mum? He was happy. So if you want to give me a big smile or bigger big smile while we sing our next song. Big smiles. Are you ready? Keep smiling. It was a happy day, happy day, happy day. When little baby Moses went home. It was a happy day, happy day, happy day. When little baby Moses went home. Big smile. I can see you. Ah, oh, much better. It was a happy day, happy day, happy day When little baby Moses went home It was a happy day, happy day, happy day When little baby Moses went home Ah, oh, all your beautiful smiles are so lovely Oh, good smiling everyone Now, can you say this Bible verse with me? Psalm 91.4. Can you say that to your mummies and your daddies? Psalm 91.4. And it says, God protects us. Can you say that to your mummies and your daddies? God protects us. So we're going to sing our next song called Jesus Loves Me. And I know a lot of you know this song and there's some actions to go along with it. So come and sing with me, Jesus Loves Me. Are you ready for some actions? Yeah? Jesus loves me, this I know. today, has anyone had a birthday this week? Now, it's been a bit tricky because you probably haven't had a chance to have friends over, but you know what? That's okay because you've got your mummies and your daddies and your brothers and sisters to sing happy birthday with you. So let's sing happy birthday. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Before we finish, let's see whether we can count to five because I don't know how old you've turned. So if we count all the way up to five, we might cover your number. 
Are you ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Happy birthday to you. Okay, Sabbath school is over. And thank you so much for joining me on the TV or on the computer or on your phone. It's been so good to have you come to our beginner Sabbath school today. So before we wave our hands goodbye, remember that God keeps you safe and your mummy and daddy. But you need to remember that God keeps you safe. Let's get our hands ready as we sing our goodbye song. Here is my hand, I wave it up high. Here is your hand, can you wave? Bye bye. Oh, good waving. I can see so many hands. Here is my hand, I wave it up high. Here is your hand, can you wave? Bye bye. Thank you so much for joining in. Bye.